Okay, thanks, and <clears throat> you should be uh, seeing my screen here. Okay, so as Steve mentioned, I'm gonna, in this demo, use imagery to uh, perform a feature extraction. Um, I'm actually gonna run through a classification workflow uh, using some of the tools in ArcGIS Pro. And so what you're looking at now is a WorldView 3 satellite image uh, from Digital Globe <clears throat> in an area in uh, Mozambique. Um, at the moment, it's being uh, displayed as a uh, pan sharpen image. And as I zoom in uh, to the image, the, the areas, or the rather the features that we're interested in extracting out are, are these tin roofs here. And this was part of a, a prototype that we did to uh, try to identify where some of these roofs and some of uh, uh, these areas of growth uh, are occurring. And so, um, when I, the, before we start doing the classification, uh, the first step really is interpreting the imagery, uh, becoming familiar with uh, what sort of features are available um, in the data, and then performing the, the analytics kind of once we've determined that. And so, uh, one of the nice tools in Pro for doing image interpretation is being able to do split screens to compare uh, two different image, images against each other. And so the image on the left is the pen sharpen, and the image on the right is uh, the same image, but um, showing the multi-spectral um, eight-band combination of that digital globe image. And so you can see we have it displayed as false color, so we can see vegetation um, is displayed in, uh, in the red pixels here. And so that just allows us to use split screens and, um, and visualize and interpret the imagery. The other nice capability here is, as I'm looking at the right band com combination to use as my input into the classification workflow, I can easily change uh, those products with one button click. So I can click this drop down on the ribbon and choose different um, band combinations that I feel are appropriate for extracting out the tin roofs. And so there's a couple different uh, combinations here. So I'll choose uh, one here that I think distinguishes and really pulls out uh, those tin roofs. And so you can see here, um, this band combination, this, the 718, is going to be, I think, pretty good, good to show here. So I'll zoom to the source resolution a little bit. So now what we want to do, we've chosen our product, and now we can, um, from the imagery toolbar, uh, we can see I have a variety of tools uh, to work with imagery. One of them is this classification wizard. And so as I click that, that opens up a nice user interface for walking through this entire um, uh, workflow. And so I just input my images. I can choose the type of classification I want. So I can choose between supervised or unsupervised. Um, I can choose the classification schema and then um, choose the location of my outputs. And then I just hit the next button. And so this first step here is going to be a step where I uh, generate a segmented image. So I'll go ahead and uh, enable that. As you can now see, I've I've taken all the pixels in my area of interest in my view, and essentially I've clustered them or segmented those um, in, together. And so now, as I go through the uh, classification wizard, I'm going to actually classify the segments um, rather than the pixels. So here's my um, my training samples. I can um, start collecting these. And so I'll start with vegetation here. And I'll start uh, collecting features. So I can uh, choose segments by uh, simply the extent of the segment. I can also um, grab a tool here and make a rectangle. And so this just makes the training sample uh, collection process much, e much easier. And so then I can take these and I can merge these together. And then once I've done, I'm done collecting training samples, I just move on uh, to the next step. And so from here, um, I can generate 
and choose the different classifier uh, that I want. So we've got a variety of them in here, maximum likelihood, random trees, and support vector machine for object oriented. And then I just hit run and next, next, next. So for the sake of time and the demo, I'll just go ahead and show you the results. And so here's the classified results. I'll go ahead and turn on the, um, the support image. And now we can see um, areas uh, that we've captured and classified. So areas, uh, shades of green represent vegetation. Uh, these magenta uh, shapes are the tin roofs. And then uh, we actually went through another step and uh, made our best attempt to classify the roofs with uh, a more natural like grass material. And, and those are a little more challenging for the software because they closely match the surrounding uh, vegetation, but we actually were able to perform those. Um, another step kind of along the way that, um, that you're gonna have to do is uh, just do a little more interpretation of the imagery itself. And so this is a spectral profile um, that you can generate from uh, the imagery. And so you can see here, we've um, clicked on a few pixels to identify the tin roofs, uh, the vegetation, um, some water features, and then also some exposed dirt features. So again, another tool that we can use to examine the imagery, and in this case, a great tool to try to figure out where uh, most of the separability or variation is between uh, the different features. Okay, so that's gonna conclude uh, this demo. I'm gonna turn it back over to Steve.